We have just passed Senate Bill 260, uh, autonomous vehicle legislation. And what that entails is it allows the state of Connecticut uh, to allow four, up to four municipalities to enter into an agreement with autonomous technology uh, manufacturers and, uh, and testers to present their technologies here in our state so that we can spur innovation to allow autonomous vehicles to take hold and move us into the future. Uh, this allows us to move uh, cautiously, methodically, uh, but also in a way to ensure public safety as this new technology is moving very quickly in front of us. This allows the state of Connecticut to craft some meaningful legislation with some protections for the consumer, some regulations for, for us to oversee the, uh, the industry as it grows and hopefully thrives. Uh, I am happy to report that it came out with uh, unanimous support, 36 to 0 in the Senate. What that now means is it goes down to the House uh, chamber where hopefully we get the similar outcome and then it goes on to the governor's desk for eventual signature into law. Uh, we've had a lot of interest from uh, in-state entities as well as outside entities to participate in this program. So I look forward to uh, uh, meaningful uh, technologies and the, the, the growth of this uh, new uh, industry and technology uh, here in Connecticut. So uh, it was a great bill to work on. Uh, I worked bipartisanly with uh, both Republicans and Democrats as a result of the 36 to 0 vote. And I think it's the wave of the future and Connecticut needs to be a leader in that. So